different pattern like this is linear this is uh, radial this is angle uh, this is reflected so i will better choose linear okay what's going on everybody so this is doulas ji and welcome to my channel so aaj hum baat karenge photoshop ki kuch beginners level tutorial ke bare mein like how to make your own gradient on photoshop like how to make a rainbow gradient on photoshop okay pehle se hi bol deti hu this is not an advanced level tutorial this is mainly a beginners level tutorial so those who want to learn those who are beginners you can check this video okay and uh, and before i proceed i just want to tell all my subscribers and supporters that uh, you are you have been supporting me all the time and thank you all for your comments your likes your personal you know like uh, feedbacks and all i i'm really really grateful for that and you guys actually rock so big thumbs up for you okay so those who have not subscribed to my channel yet so i will request you to check my channel once and if you like my channel please give it a thumbs up and pass them on to somebody who might like this too okay so without any further ado let's jump into the tutorial I'm just making this for those who are new to Photoshop and those who want to create their own gradient and today I will uh, I'm going to make a rainbow gradient on Photoshop okay so uske liye I have Photoshop CC version so this is a bit old version so you can do it on upper versions and lower version also so this is Photoshop CC so for uh, doing that it's a very easy process so for doing that i'm just taking uh, i'm just going to file new okay so here uh, what i will take i will make a new document so for that uh, i'm just going to make it custom so from preset you will just to make make it custom and here i will put 3000 and height i will put 1700 and resolution will be 300 uh here i just want to tell you one thing like uh, agar aapko print mode mein chahiye then uh, you can give the resolution the higher resolution or if it is for wave uh, 72 is fine 152 is or uh, 150 is also fine okay but still i'm making it 300 okay and uh, hit okay and another thing is like photoshop is not a uh, like uh, vector uh, based uh, software so this is a raster based software so isme jo bhi aapka hoga like uh, anything you write uh, this is not a vector form so if you uh, want it in vector form you have to do it in adobe illustrator okay or in corel draw okay so let's start so first of all i'm just creating here layer from background and let's make background okay so i'm just filling this background with black now i will create my custom gradient okay so for doing so what i will do is i will i have already you know like uh, you know downloaded a photo from google like you need a rainbow uh, here i'm uh, making a rainbow gradient so you need all the rainbow colors okay so you can make it on your own and if you want the exact uh, color code then you can download a webgeor color from google so as you can uh, see like i have downloaded this this is webgeor okay so sorry so i'm just placing it here instead of loading yeah so okay so here i'm keeping it okay now i will create my own gradient okay so for doing so i will go to gradient so here is my gradient you can see the left side here is a tool uh, i mean the fill tool and if you click uh i'm in the paint bucket tool and if you just and here just make the right click and find the gradient tool okay so click on the gradient tool as you can see it has already been created so i'm just deleting it for the time being so for doing so i'm just going to uh here uh preset manager okay 
and I'm just selecting this and just delete this okay so it's done now I will create the gradient okay so let's create the gradient so I can see here uh, in WebGeor there are seven colors okay one two three four five six seven okay so here what I have to do I have to here make those seven kind of colors so that I can make the rainbow pattern here so is ke liye aapko kya karna hai? like here uh, aapko, you have to choose the color okay from here I'm just uh, drop the color as you can see if you can if you are uh, dragging this uh, your mouse here so you can see the eyedropper tool right so this is to choose your color so first of all I need to make those seven parts here so here you can see one part so I will click the next part here so I will make the left click one two three four so one two three four five six okay so now I will just equally distribute it all of the parts so here one two जो जिसमें क्या होगा कि all of them have equal space between them okay so I'm just dragging this with uh, clicking the left mouse button okay and yeah so here you go now what I will do I will click here I'll start from here I will click here and as you can see the eyedropper tool is uh, by default the eye, eyedropper tool is coming so if I click here in this part so it will take this color okay so I have chosen purple now I will click on the next color I will choose blue then next I will choose I'm sorry the another one was indigo now I'll choose blue okay next color green next color yellow next color orange next color red okay so my rainbow color has been made so what I will do now I will uh, now my rainbow color has been created now I will click on new so once I click on new as you can see there is one color new gradient color has been created and I will hit ok okay so now I will go to settings preset manager I will take another layer and go to type tool and type rain so clicking on white so I will type rain bow okay so here my text has been created now what I will do is I will click on the text part go to select load selection and hit ok so now the text part has been selected now I will uncheck this uh, text part go to another layer go to gradient and just make the rainbow thing okay so here you can see different type of uh, you know gradient pattern like this is linear this is uh, radial this is angle uh, this is reflected so I will better choose linear okay so so that you get a smooth kind of gradient okay so here is my I'm happy with this so here is my gradient okay so now deselect it and uh, what you can do now you can give it a little bit uh, you know depth also you can go back to layer layer style and make bevel and emboss and now here this is a quite tricky part because uh, you can choose white here but uh, rather than choosing white I will choose a light blue part here yeah so light blue yeah. so I'm happy with that 
and uh, you can uh, make the depth uh, more and or less according to your choice but i will make it uh, i will not give it a very uh, i will not give much depth to this text and shadow mode i will go to shadow mode but i will not make it black just because this is the black background i will make it white rather and hit okay okay now you can just soften it yeah this is also an interesting color you can use that also magenta so if you give it magenta it also gives some interesting looks and you know like yeah so you can bring down the opacity a little bit yeah so So here you can change the mode also you can make it overlay you can make it uh, other you know according to your choice but i think screen will do better yeah yeah hit okay okay so i'm quite happy with this text so this is my rainbow text so that's it for today guys i hope you have liked this video aur agar aapko ye video pasand aaye ho to please 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 comment karna mat bhuliyega aur agar aapko if you have any suggestion for any particular idea about this particular tutorial then you can also suggest me that i would really love to read your comments and i would really like to go through all of them okay so acche se rahiyega khush rahiyega masti mein rahiyega design karte rahiyega and be happy always so i will see you in the next video until then 